Welcome back to Maniac Labs. Science is about to be in progress. We're going to get started in just a minute. We're going to play with some electricity today. A little bit of protons and neurons and electrons and balloons. That's the most important thing. The balloons. Because, you know, this is a kid's science program. So, just to remind you, if you wanted to play along, and this is kind of fun and very simple, anyone can do it. Uh, most age groups are okay with it. Um, you're going to need a little bit of yarn. I've got a big wad of yarn here. You'll need some scissors so you can trim your yarn. And you'll need some balloons. They don't have to be big giant balloons. They can be little balloons. That's fine. Little balloons might actually be easier. Not sure. Haven't tested out the giant ones yet. But yeah, that's really all you need. It may be a stick or something you can hang your balloons from. Um, I have, can't really see, but I have a yardstick dangling outside of the camera view. So when I hang my balloons, that's what they'll be hanging from so you can see the stuff in the things. So uh, probably okay to go ahead and get started. Like I said, I'm Mr. Andy. This is Maniac Science Lab, and we're going to do some fun science. We do this every Wednesday at 1.30. Um, we explore a new scientific concept explore maybe a new scientist, or just, and just have some fun. Today we're gonna to talk about electricity. So, let's change the sign here. My fancy dancy graphics team put this together for me. Electricity, what is it? We kinda of know. It's everywhere, it runs everything. Um, your phones, your tablets, your car, your lights. It's all electricity. Basically, you flip a switch and it turns on and off and things happen. It's kind of cool. But how much do we really understand about it? It's pretty complicated stuff. So we're going to try to keep it simple for you today. Basically, uh, and it, it, electricity is energy that flows through materials. It starts in the atoms that make up everything around us. So let's talk about atoms a little bit. Got another fancy, fancy sign here. Hey, guys. Thanks for joining us. All right, so this is a very simple picture of an atom. Inside there's a proton, and outside there's an electron, and they kind of like hanging around each other. Uh, protons are usually in the center, positively charged, and negatively, ch negatively charged electrons spin around the outside. So the key to electricity is that opposites really do attract the positive and the negative. They like to work together. Uh, electrons and protons are attracted to each other. When they're close, they pull together, kind of like magnets pulling together. It's kind of what we're going to be playing with today. Not really magnets, but similar, similar properties. When an electron moves away from an atom, sometimes it can go find another one to hang out with. Uh, searches for a positive charge in another atom to connect to. And when electrons move from atom to atom, they can be directed into streams that we call electricity. So what happens, kind of, here's like my little picture here. You see this little electron hanging around the bottom? That's on the edge there? He can bounce along and move along in a stream. But we're not talking about that today. We're talking about static electricity. Now, static electricity is an imbalance or a buildup of positive or negative charges on a particular object or surface. And balloons are really good for showing that effect. They, uh, they're really good at collecting extra electrons. So basically what you have here is your atom, your proton, your electron, suddenly you get a whole bunch of electrons. There's another one, 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 and so on and so forth. And that builds up static electricity. It's waiting to go somewhere, it's looking for something to hang out with. So let's get a little bit deeper. Static electricity, we know, makes things stick together. Like when you take the laundry out of the dryer, you've got a sock stuck to your sweater, you can peel it apart and you can hear that snap, rattle, rattle, when it does that. Well, that's static electricity. 
what's happened is one of those items has built up a supercharge of electrons, and the other one hasn't. So there's an imbalance between the two, and they, they want to stick together. So let's break it down a little further. Let's say a proton has a plus one negative electric charge. An electron has a negative one electric charge. Opposites attract, plus to negative, they want to be together. Protons like to remain inside the atomic nucleus. Right around there. And electrons are free to move around. Protons and electrons like hanging around each other, but sometimes the electron can move to another proton, like I said earlier, where they, well, they hop from place to place to place. That's electric current. Uh, what we're dealing with is static electricity. Instead of flowing, there's a buildup. They collect, they join together, and they hang out together. And uh, you can charge items, like a balloon, by rubbing it on a piece of clothing or a piece of wool or something. And that helps build up negatively charged electrons that make it want to zip zap and touch things. And you're controlling electricity with your hands just by doing that. How cool is that? Um, if you take a balloon and you charge it up, you can stick it to the wall, you can stick it to the side of your head, you can hold it up and hair is going to flow off your head and try to connect to it, and all kinds of stuff. It's really fun. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Do you have your balloon? Have you ballooned it up already? If not, now is a good time. I think I will do a blue balloon. I like to stretch them out before I blow them up. It's a little easier on the lungs, you know. So go ahead and blow up your balloon. Get it ready to go so we can start experimenting right away. We're going to take this thing and we're going to charge it up with electrons. I really need to get an assistant. But until then, I'll do it myself. Pop, like an expert. There's my balloon. This is an ordinary balloon. Um, but if I take this ordinary balloon and I charge it, it will stick to things. Now, right now, it's got a little bit of a charge. Not a whole lot, but I borrowed my wife's jacket. It's a polar fleece. And just touching it, I can hear the crickle crackle of electricity in it. So I'm going to use this to charge up my balloon, and let's see what happens, okay? So I've got my little fleece, and I've got my balloon, and I'm going to rub it on there real good. In fact, while you're rubbing, if you have a good fabric to use, you can kind of hear the electricity happening while you're rubbing it. It's kind of cool. So what we're doing is we're building up an imbalance of electrons on the surface of this balloon, which is going to make it attract two things that are opposite. So look, now I've got my balloon. Look, it's stuck to the shirt. It doesn't want to let go. It likes it so much. Now it likes my hand. Ooh, oh. Doesn't want to let go of my hand. It's like, yeah, I'll hang out with you for a little bit. Kind of cool, huh? You're fine to go. Oh. Now, unfortunately, when you build up your electrons, eventually they will dissipate again, in which case you need to charge your balloon all over. See right now, it doesn't want to stay on my hand as much because it's losing its electrons. They've found other places to go. So let's charge it up back in. Rub, 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 rub. Pretty cool. Rub, 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 rub. And now it wants to stick to my hand again. I can actually feel it almost pushing against my hand. It is so attracted to it because they are opposites. The balloon is negatively charged with electrons. My hand is normally charged, ordinary, so it's sticking to it. Now, what happens? I don't have very long hair, but let's see if I can put up my head to get an angle where we can see. Do you see that? Get that angle right. Oh, I lost electric charge. Well, my hair came off my head and went to the balloon. That's because opposites attract. Let's recharge it again. Lots of rubbing and rubbing and rubbing. And then let's stick it to my hair. There it goes. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Now you've always known this, this, this works. If any kid with a balloon figures this out pretty quick, just from shuffling their feet on the carpet, that stuff like that happens. But why does it happen? It's because that friction has charged up the negative electrons on the balloon put an imbalance of negative electrons on the surface. Now they only stay there temporarily. That's the sad thing. 
but they do go there. And then the balloon will stick to your head, just like that. And eventually the electrons will dissipate, and it won't stick anymore. But now, when experimenting with this, I've learned that the electrons like to charge up on one part of the balloon, not the whole thing. So if you're rubbing one side, that side will charge up, the other side will not. So you have to be careful to make sure if you want it to you know, be charged all the way around, you have to rub it up all the way around. Now, we know opposites attract. Negatively charged and balanced, regular, they stick together. What if they're both the same? If opposites attract, do similar items repel? Let's find out. This is where your yarn comes in handy. So, I have some yarn, I'm gonna cut off the length of it. You can do this at home too. If you're young, ask mom's help or dad's help with your scissors. You don't wanna lose any fingers today, that's no fun. That's a whole nother program. Okay, so I have my yarn and I'm gonna tie it to the little end of my balloon here so I can dangle the balloon so I am not influencing it in any way. It's gonna be reacting completely on its own like a sentient being. I'm gonna go into that. Now, I am very good at a lot of things. Tying yarn is not one of them. So you have to be a little patient with me. Oh my goodness, where's my assistant? I need an assistant. Let's get that in there eventually. I find that if I talk funny while trying to do it, it helps pass the time. So if you're having a hard time tying your yarn, talk funny while doing it. It makes it easier. It really does. Okay. My balloon is tied. And I'm going to tie a little loop on the end. That is itself is a challenging thing to do, but I think I can figure it out. I have a smart man. There we go. So now I can dangle it from my dangly device, my scientific dangly device. So now that balloon's going to hang out right there in front of you guys. Now, to do this, we need two balloons. I guess I have to blow up another one. Let's do a yellow balloon this time. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Do you have two balloons yet? Are you ready to go? If your balloons are already ready, go ahead and hang them up. I'm gonna get mine ready while I wait for you. Woo, this is a big one. All right, now we have a yellow balloon and a blue balloon. Go, we'll tie the yarn on, just like so. There you go. And then, I hang this one nearby. What do you think will happen when I hang them next to each other? Have any of them been excessively charged? Maybe, just by me tying it with yarn? Possibly. Let's find out. Sit down while I tie my next circle here. Do, 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 do. Like I said, funny voices help pass the time. Did I get that right? Did the rabbit go through the right hole? Oh, I'm so bad at tying. Oh, all scientists have their weakness. Mine is tying knots. Again. Maybe it's because I'm tying up in the air and not on my shoe. I think if I was tying my shoelace, I'd be able to do it blindfolded, but tying a balloon. That's challenging. Okay, I got my loop. Here we go. So now we have two balloons on yarns. Ooh. I'm seeing a little movement here. I think the blue balloon likes the yellow one. They must be opposites, because they're attracted. Now, if I pull the blue one away, does the yellow one follow it? No. They're only kind of friendly. If I pull the yellow one away, will the blue one follow it? No, they're only kind of friendly. But, if I take this fancy fleece sweatshirt that I borrowed, and I rub this yellow balloon real good, 
Get it all charged up. Ooh, I can hear the crackling already. Now what happens? They stick together. Opposite the track. Now if I move this one, will the blue one go with it? It sure does. Oh, only a little bit though. But they do like each other. They're hanging out. They're trying. Let's see what happens if I the blue one. Does the yellow one follow? It sure does. Look at that. They go pretty far together. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to charge them up a little more, see if I can get it to really fly. The friction of the fabric on the balloon really helps supercharge those electrons. Let's see what they do. Oh, there they are. They're hanging out. Whoa, he likes me a lot. Okay, so really attracted to my hand. So let's get these guys together. There they go. No, only a little bit. I'm thinking the blue one might have a little bit of a charge on its own. This is why they're hanging together, but they're not super tight. Okay, so now we know opposites attract. We want to know, do like balloons deflect? One way to find out. Let's charge that blue balloon. There's my singing again. I like to sing while I work. So I'm going to rub up the balloon, charge it up real good on this sweater. And look, it's stuck to my hand pretty good. Oh, they're really liking each other now. So let's charge this guy up. So they're both charged. And then see what happens. Well, that's not right. They're supposed to be opposites, and I charge them both. Maybe I only charge some of one side. Oh, wow, these guys are really stuck together. So what does that say about science? It's not perfect. That's what it says. That's interesting. This one's not sticking to me. That one is not really sticking to me. Okay, I see what happened. The yellow one is supercharged. The blue one has lost a lot of its charge. You have to work quickly. Maybe a partner would be helpful for this. Okay. Gotta get them good and charged. Now look at that. These silly things. He's sticking to my hand. He's sticking to my hand. Oh, there we go. Now, I think what we're finding is I'm not charging them equally. Balloons are difficult because they're round. Let's try it again. In fact, I'm gonna put a little marker on the side that I charge so we know which side is which. And rub up this side real good. I can feel the hair on my hands sticking up. And there's a little circle. And we'll rub this guy up real good. Put a little circle there. So now I know which sides I charged. What happens when I try to get them together? Oh, he won't even turn around. Turn around. Turn around. And there, now they're, we're starting to work. See, it's deflecting flying away. There's still a little charge on one side. There we go. See what how it pushes it away? It's like it's creating a force field. Now when it spins and it gets to the other side, it wants to attach. But while it's charged up, extra charged on one side, extra charged on this side, Now they want to fly away from each other and then towards each other. This is kind of funny. I guess I gotta work a lot harder on the deflection thing. When they're turned the same way, they deflect, but then they spin around and they come back to each other. Very tricky. Which is why we haven't perfected 
controlling this stuff. Yeah. All right, well, that was fun. Kind of fun to play with. See what you can get it to stick to. See how far you can get it to come to your hand without having stuff float in the air next to my hand. Now, we know opposites attract, and they pull together. There's a way that you can use this effect to have a race with a friend. It's pretty cool. It's pretty easy, too. All you have to do is find a soda can, empty it, rinse it, because you're going to roll it around on its side, and you do not want to spill soda on your mom's floor. Because that makes a mess. Because what is soda besides yummy? It's sticky. And we don't want sticky spots on the board. So if you charge up your balloon really good, and you have an empty and clean soda can, charge it up. Those electrons like to fly away, especially in this house for some reason. And just the humidity. And then you put that balloon next to the can. Do you see that? It's like magic. Let's try that again. I'll get it back further so you can see it better in the camera. Get these things out of the way. See how it's pulling across the table? How cool is that? Let's go the other way. Come on. You can do it. There it goes. And it starts going faster and faster and faster. I'm losing my charge. Let's charge it up again. So if you have a friend and you have two balloons and two sweaters and two cans, you don't have to wrap yours in blue paper. I only did that because they're not giving me any money to use their soda can on the air. So I wrapped it in blue paper. So you'll never know what flavor it is. You'll have to ask me later. Hold it up to it, pull it along. Look how fast it goes. You can literally race the thing. Let's go back again. Whoa! Kind of cool, huh? Man, that's fun. Well, you want to try it at home? Get two cans, line them up side by side. This one's already got a bit of a charge. Let's see if I can charge this one up and I'll pretend that I have a friend. And we'll race them and see which one's going to get to the finish line first. Whoa, blue's doing well. I think yellow's feeling lazy. Oh, blue was doing well. Just got to recharge. I think I'm the one dissipating the electrons. It's all me. I think that's what it is. It's all me. Try them both. There they go. Yellow's going great. I think two hands is too hard. There's that charge. We've lost it. Let's do it one more time. And then you guys can do this at home and have all the fun in the world. Racing your soda cans. Going wherever to wherever. But remember, Electrons only stick around for so long, and then you'll start to lose them. So keep your sweater nearby so you can keep charging them. But it's kind of cool to think that you can control electricity in that way. Look at that go. Just by a little bit of friction, you can make electricity happen. It's kind of cool. Static electricity. Let's not talk about the other stuff too much. Stay away from there. That's very dangerous stuff. But static electricity, especially when you're playing with balloons, is a lot of fun. Because you can charge things up, you can get your hair to move around, you can stick a balloon to your head and walk around like you got a big yellow ear. Silly stuff like that. Well, I hope you had some fun. I hope you have fun playing with your balloon races. And I hope you tune in next week for more fun Maniac Science Lab Science with me, Mr. Andy, with the St. John's County Public. Have a great day, guys.